hello guys welcome back to our channel why nigerians are screaming answers 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 in other parts of uh, nigeria and other regions of nigeria they are really being choked up by several hundred of um, security personnel choking them up choking free flow of traffic and also extorting heavily the citizen in that region but before we go into the full details of this news and further analysis we do like you to subscribe subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well the southeast zone can rightly be said to be under siege by soldiers and police that have mounted checkpoints almost at every two kilometers in all the major roads in the zone from abba to umahia to Oware to enugu to abakaleke oka to anisha to newi the story is the same from abba to enugu is a distance of about 150 kilometers there are at least 12 army checkpoints and over 16 police checkpoints permanently mounted and a couple of stop search and police teams Wow, the situation has been a source of worry to motorists and other road users in the zone, some of whom have described it as an embarrassment and an, an assault of the people of the zone. Recall that during the last Southeast security meeting with the Inspector General of Police, Adamu Mohammed, the President General of Ahane Zindibu, Chief of Nelwood raised an alarm over the multiple police checkpoints in the zone with the attendant extortion of motorists, harassment, and intimidation of even passerbys. In Abia, Abba Umahia, both the expressway and the old road have several number of army and police checkpoints. Umahia Uza Uzakuli, Bende, Ohafia Road, and Umahia Wari Road are not left out. The motorists plying that Abia State section of Enugu Portacot expressway and the old abao Mwahia highway have been lamenting the extortion and harassment intimidation they pass through from the soldiers and policemen at this checkpoint well it was actually observed that soldiers in abia engaged the services of young men who stop motorists collect money for them at various checkpoints the extort they extort money based on the size of the vehicle. For example, big, big vehicles like trucks, tippers, carrying sand or chippings give as much as 1,000 naira, while those conveying containers are forced to part, pay with much more. Buses are extorted between 200 naira and 500 naira, and the amount could be higher if the bus is overloaded with commodities. It is a similar situation at checkpoints mounted by policemen, but their own is done with brazenness as they even negotiate and give change to the motorists. Jesus. One notorious police station involved in this illegal act is a police division somewhere in about where a division DPO once head sway arresting and detaining residents who purchased their freedom at very high prices, high prices. From Imo Gate border between Rivers and Abia State to the boundary between Abia and Enugu State, it is always extortion bazaar by soldiers and policemen at the multiple checkpoints on this, on this route. It is further observed that similar situation takes place in the old Abel Mahia Highway. <clears throat> From Achonwakama Junction to Obikabia Junction, a distance of five kilometers, there are over seven checkpoints harassing motorists for Roja. Attention always focused on buses from Akwaibom who come who came to buy goods from the various um, markets in the city. The police in Aba have also converted the Aba Waterside Bridge to a checkpoint where they extort money from motorists, especially tricycle operators. Despite warnings boldly written at this army checkpoint that no bribe should be given or taken, the soldiers never obey the warning as they embark on their extortion spree. Most guilty at the checkpoint at Asa Highway, Unkwa West, Isialangwa, junction as well as another at itungwa on the old aba umahia highway others include those at obikabia junction in obingwe council area and another one on the umahia Ohafia highway even the federal road safety corps are not left out of the menace as they now openly collect bribe from motorists well, in Anambra State, the story is the same. Motorists plying the road in the state know what to expect from the security operatives who position themselves on the various routes anytime they drive out from their homes, which is which is that they have to part with some money to be able to reach their destination. Between Oka and, and Onicha, through 
Expressway, which is a distance of about 40 kilometers. There are checkpoints at Oman, Omansi Police, Aroma Junction Police, Umokbo Road Safety, Umokbo Police, Enugu Agidi Police, Dunu Kofia Police, Akuzo Police, a Akuzo Road Safety, Ikwele Ezuna, Ezunaka Police, Borough Men Roundabout Police, and Bridgehead. Police Road Safety Army. Along the old Enugu Onisha Road, there are checkpoints at Amansi, Amansi Army, Mobile Police Junction Police, Zix Avenue Road Safety, Enugu um, Uku Mwasike Police. In the Onisha Owari Road Axis, there are also checkpoints at Oba, Ozubolo, Okijia, Ihiala, Uli, and Amoka. And all these are points for extracting money from motorists. Some commercial drivers who spoke on the issue said they there are checkpoints that collect hundred naira, while others collect two hundred naira and above. For road safety, the amount to be collected depends on the number of charges recorded. Wow. Mr. Johnson Onubu, who plies on each Okwa road, said the drivers already know the amount to pay on each trip, adding that what they do is to keep the money aside and just hand it over once they approach any checkpoint. Police checkpoints are even better than those of road safety because we just bring out the money and hand it over. There's always, there's only trouble if the driver refuses to drop the money, in which case you waste your time and that of the passengers. In the case of road safety, you have to park your vehicle and they approach them and hand over the money. The amount is between 500 naira and 2,000 naira depending on what one is carrying. Oh man, this is so terrible. Former President General of All Nature Market Amalgamated Trans Traders Association or matter. Chief Oz Ozo Anaikwe has also expressed worry over the sev several security checkpoints in Southeast, saying they are crippling the economy of the zone. The activities of the security men, particularly the police, army, and navy, at each checkpoint have become a source of embarrassment to the Nigeria. And this is because foreigners come into this country and pass through these checkpoints. I'm really embarrassed by the level of indiscipline that is now common with the army as regards extortion on the road and at checkpoints without minding who is watching them. Soldiers of the Nigerian army have become sh shameless over this extortion. And it's becoming disheartening. Well, he is not embarrassed about the high extortion being carried out by his soldiers in the south. He should answer that question. In Enugu, many checkpoints are mounted by soldiers and police along Enugu or Bakeleke. There are also checkpoints mounted by men of Air Force at Binox bus stop and at Emene near the Ak Akonoibiam International Airport within Enugu Metropolis. Police checkpoints cause long queues along a Bakalika Express Road at peak periods when residents go or return from work and business. Annoyingly, what takes place at this checkpoint is just extortion of money. It is observed that the new extortion style of police is, in the state is targeted on market roads where they mount multiple checkpoints and collect tolls from commercial vehicles that convey goods, especially food produce, to and from the market areas. Wow, this is really sad. The ugly act of the police prompted a group of legal practitioners in the Negu state to petition the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, demanding for justice over an alleged assault on a colleague, Mr. Mwaneke Ago, who the lawyer said was dazed by a group of police officers at the checkpoint in Trans Ekulu, Enugu, for no just cause. The case of Imo State is interesting. The people call the daily extortion as toll gates, which has become a new norm normal in the state. While mainly two checkpoints are mounted at definite locations on all the major federal highways in the state, most police checkpoints are, are itinerant, not for any known operational reason, but for obvious financial gains. Army checkpoint has since become um, money spinners. In a bony state, the station by the various security operatives becomes too much for motorists plying the road, forcing them to recently block the road at the boundary between Enugu Ebony and Enugu Abakaleke Expressway to protest the extortion and the harassment by police. According to one of the drivers who gave his name simply as Chukwemeka, the policeman did not only extort money from them, but also manhandled any driver who refused to comply with their monetary demands. This is rather very, very sad. I do not know how, I don't know what the government needs to, really needs to look into this because 
honestly if it continues like this at some point nigerians will be looking at you see what we're talking about this issue of answer we, the whole system needs to be reformed let's just take one or two comments and we'll just call it a day this one here is a oops that's very bad what are the state governments doing to attend to the situation you hardly see checkpoint in core north this one here is saying see them instead of going to heavily ma uh, militarize the northeast and northwest where bandits unknown gunmen Boko Haram are gaining supreme alas they are choosing a peaceful region to lay siege. They think they are oppressing the South is not knowing that they are allowing the deteriorating insecurity in this already traumatized region to worsen so, so much more. Rather sad I tell you. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. What's your take on this situation? It actually has been in existence.